Xin Chow, what's up everybody? We are on District 10, I think. Uh, we're at the cell phone place where you buy cell phones. I just got out of the dentist. I got my implants finally done. Uh, I'll, I'll make a separate video on that, but we're gonna walk around for an hour and talk. So due to popular demand, the walking vlogs are back in full rotation. So yeah, let's get walking. If you like the video, subscribe to see more stuff like this. If not, don't subscribe and hit. Do not recommend this channel. All right, we're gonna walk through a bunch of districts on this one today, guys. I think we're gonna walk through District 10, District 3, a couple places. So yeah, the dentist was interesting. I, I will talk about that for, for a bit. I have a video on Patreon of the first half of the dentist that I'm gonna re-download and then shoot another companion video to. So if you do wanna see the dentist footage ahead of time, it's on the Patreon if you wanna join the Patreon. There's lots of additional content on there, but yeah, the implants are done. It feels like I got foreign bodies in my mouth. Uh, it's even causing me to talk a little different because my tongue is hitting that tooth. I'm sure I'll adjust uh, to it in a few weeks. It definitely feels weird to have all my, my teeth again though. I had one tooth missing for 10 years. So it feels quite odd to have a tooth back in place there. As you can see, it's 4 p.m. Uh, rush hour is just kicking up pretty good and lively right now. So, yeah, it's been very interesting the past few weeks. The channel's been doing really good. Uh, lots of growth on it. Lots of views. Lots of comments. If you guys want to drop a comment and tell me when you're coming or planning your trip, that'd be awesome. It is a little loud on this street. There's a nice private international school. I'm sure it's some top-rated one, Pennsylvania American. They always got names like that. I don't know if Pennsylvania is really affiliated with it. Wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. Wouldn't be surprised if it was. <sighs> Everybody keeps asking me about uh, jobs here and like teaching isn't the only job you can get. If you have a college degree in a field and you practice that field, you can apply for jobs like that here. You know, there's a couple guys in Discord that have pretty good paying jobs. Uh, and like normie work, not, not teaching work. You don't have to be a teacher when you come here. You can always try to do YouTube too. Uh, YouTube is not particularly easy, but uh, it is gratifying. You'll kind of know if you're gonna make it in YouTube within a year. If you do try that venture, you just gotta stick with it. But yeah, you can buy all the cell phones here. Uh, there's, there's all kinds of cell phone stores here. This is where I come to buy my OnePlus because they have a certified OnePlus vendor guy here. I don't buy OnePlus anymore. My next phone will be the Fold 4. So I'll wait until that comes out and that's what I'll use for that. Plus I think it'll be good for live streaming when I do live stream because of the large screen. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I can split the screens into two and then have the chat full time on the bottom and the video on the top. So I think it'll be a useful tool for the channel. But I'll wait for the, the four to come out. I don't like Oppo's folding phone. It, it, uh, it's too small. I want that real estate. And hopefully I'll be able to edit off of the Fold 4 as well. If I can do some decent uh, rendering times in 4K on it, that might be my solution to uh, editing quickly on the go when I'm in other countries and stuff. Definitely going to be doing a lot of live streaming. We're dialing in the setup now on the server. So once that's all set up, uh, we're going to be live streaming off both channels. Uh, I'm going to live stream a lot off the alternate channel, which is in the description. It's Fat and Broke IRL. We have to get the watch time there to monetize that. And once that's monetized, I'll pretty much just live stream off that and occasionally do a stream off of 
uh, my regular channel. Now I did figure out if you live stream on your regular channel and then remove the stream right away, it seems to do some kind of like auto flagging process. So I now have figured out a way to live stream and not be penalized essentially by just leaving it up, which I, I found to be interesting. The whole thing why I used to remove them is because I wanted it to be like a thing where if you're not there, you didn't get to see it. A lot of the live streams I got pulled will be put on the Patreon. So another reason to join the Patreon if you want to see old live streams. <clears throat> so now that I figured, figured that out, man, I'm talking weird. Let me know in the chat if I sound different. It sounds like I almost have like a lisp now. She put a big implant in the one because it was where two teeth were, were gone. I've had three teeth pulled and all three were failed root canals. I'll never get a root canal again. What a waste of a... Because the doctor's not going to tell you if, if the tooth's too far gone. Like, he's got to get into the root canal. And a good dentist would have been honest and been like, look, dude, there's not enough teeth, tooth left here. Even if I put a crown or a cap on it, it's probably going to break it sometime in the future. And that's what happened with all three of those teeth. And he just didn't tell me. And they all eventually broke within like a year. So I can tell you that implants are not fun. Almost just as fun as a root canal. It feels extremely weird. It's a long process. I do have an amazing dentist. She's a really great gal. She speaks uh, English fluently. Super nice, super polite. She's a young gal. I think she's in her 20s, early 30s. She always asks me where to travel to because she uh, watches the channel as well. I've been meeting a uh, aggressive amount of subscribers. Last night I was out with uh, four Singaporean subscribers and I took them out to the bars and showed them, you know, the local areas and man, the, they paid for everything. It was super awesome. It was a fun time. So definitely if you see me, I'm going to hang out with you and doubly if you buy me some drinks, I'm going to hang out with you as long as you want pretty much. <laughs> but those guys were super nice. Just walking to the bars, I met a few more subscribers, uh, newly landed people. In the bar, I met the Singapore guys, then an, another guy came up to me, and he's like, oh, you're fat and broke. I watched all your videos before I got here. He's been living here uh, two years. So he, he probably watched back in the day and then stopped watching once he got here, he, which is understandable. I, I, I get that. And then that night on Boy Vane when uh, I met the famous YouTuber. I couldn't believe that guy watched all my videos through lockdown. Because, uh, you know, they were wanting to get back here too and they were missing Vietnam. Oh. So shout out to Quang Tran. Thanks for hooking it up. I had a great time with you and your brothers. Uh, I think we're going to do it again soon. I've been in contact with him. so Super nice guy, man. If you like uh, food cooking videos and like food eating videos, check his channel out. A lot of you guys are going to know who he is. So, let's see what district we're in. Still in District 10. Pretty soon we'll pass into District 3. Let's see. Lots of good restaurants down here. I'm aggressively hungry today. I've been eating uh, super low calories, trying to get the final cut on the weight loss. I'm like 95 kgs now, I got room in between 93 and 95. So I wanna get down to 90 and then take a, a bit of a break. And by break, I, I mean still one meal a day, but eating more calories, eating 1,500, 2,000 calories in that one meal a day. Because you can't uh, continuously run your body on on that kind of stuff. You've got to make change-ups to have weight loss uh, correctly. Well, at least for my body. Everybody's body is different. I don't need a bunch of advice in the comment section. You should do this. You should do that. I don't think keto is a sustainable diet health form. Uh, sometimes I'm in keto. 
Sometimes I'm not. I don't check it or anything. I can usually just feel by my body. Now we're in District 3. So we've just uh, traversed into District 3. I will be driving home during rush hour, which is no big deal. I'm gonna eat sushi tonight, boy. I'm gonna eat me like a kg of uh, fish, man. I mainly eat sashimi. I usually get one roll, one avocado roll. Yeah, I know it's not really sushi, but I'll get an avocado roll with a uh, tempura shrimp, usually. And then the rest I'll eat all sashimi between salmon, uh, yellowfish, scallop, and clam. Or not clam, what is it? The thing with the pink. It's like white and pink. And then I'll have uh, a avocado salad with that as well. So one whole avocado in with some salad, a little bit of oil and vinegar. That'll be a good, good meal, get some protein in. There's a sushi joint right here, I Sushi. I think this is a Vietnamese sushi chain. I've never tried it. But that's about what I get right there. That sashimi plate right there is about what I usually get. Yep, that's pretty much what I, I get right there. We got a nice little sushi place by our house. It's called T Sushi. It's pretty darn good. Vietnamese uh, run it and make it, but they do a good job, man. I mean, it's, you can't really mess up sashimi. It's just about getting and sourcing good fish. And it seems to me like they go to the, out to the fish market, I wanna say it's in District 8 in the morning, the big one, because they get high quality fish. They uh, deliver it on ice, which I like. There's a hot pot. So this is a pretty good place to come eat this street right here. You'll see there's a lot of Japanese and there's a lot of hot pots. And I do wanna try this particular hot pot right here. But I really like Heidi Lau's hot pot. I mean, if I'm gonna get hot pot, it's tough for me to not go to Heidi Lau. It's so good, the quality is just there. So we're kind of walking in District 3 back into D1, if you get what I'm throwing down. They've almost got the bridge done over to, to D2. They're, they're really in the final touches. I think they're gonna have it done by the end of the month. So I will do a moto vlog uh, tour of that the day it opens. They'll put flowers out and all that stuff. So I just got to get a new uh, helmet rig for the old X3000. Bob's your uncle, a little cutie. Working at a bank or something. So yeah, it's, it's, been, it's gonna be the most exciting next few months in the channel with all you guys coming, all the subscribers are coming and everybody wants to meet up. And like I said, please don't DM me on Instagram. Um, you can, but it's gonna take me a long time and you're gonna get offended because I'm not gonna get back to you right away. If you want access to me in real time and wanna potentially set up some kind of hangout, I'm on the Discord. And now I'll even say where I'm going that night uh, if you wanna hang out. Like last night I said, I'll be a pastor. And, you know, of course, if you're roaming around Wind Way, you'll probably see me. And if you're on Boy Vane on a Saturday night, you'll probably see me. Saturday night's usually the night I go live stream there. Because, frankly, those live streams do well. And, you know, if, if people didn't donate on the live streams, I wouldn't go out at all. Because, I, for one, I don't... I'm not particularly in love with Boy Vane anymore. Um, and it's not free to drink. I usually spend 50 bucks. I usually make 100 to 150 bucks. So maybe more, I'll even spend more. Sometimes I'll spend 100 bucks, depending on what the chat uh, wants. So this place is a Kichi Kichi, which I don't think is that bad. For, for a low budget hot pot, it did, it did me right. And then uh, there's this pub, the Korean barbecue pub, which they're opening one on Boy Vane, which I found to be 
interesting. I've never eaten at one. I did like Kichi Kichi. This is one of the worst barbecues that you can go to. Ter terrible. Just uh, stay away from it. It's got very poor quality meat. I mean, any all-you-can-eat type deal in, in uh, Vietnam's usually lower quality. Pretty much any all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue is going to be lower quality. That's why a lot of the meats are marinated first in some kind of sauce. That's to, to hide the, the quality. You'll rarely get an unmarinated meat at all-you-can-eat uh, Korean barbecue. If you really headstrong about all-you-can-eat and you want to eat a bunch of food, what I would recommend is uh, meat and meat. And the one in uh, Saigon Center. Because you can get your own shit, so you don't have to wait for anybody. They set it all up. Uh, you buy like the buffet thing, and you go and get your meat when you want. You get as much salad as you want. So we really do like that one. I think that costs us 500k usually when we uh, eat there. So not bad at all. 20 bucks, 10 bucks a head. If you don't drink liquor, I don't too much recommend drinking liquor unless you're going to be there for a long time. And then I'd go to. I'm always going to recommend Borga. Borga is the best Korean barbecue. Me and Winnie only eat, each get one meat there, and they serve you so much banchan that, uh, yeah, that's all we need is the two meats. I, I eat all the banchan. It's all healthy uh, forms of kimchi, different kinds of kimchi. Sometimes there'll be a pancake, but only a little one. Also yummy. And then you got a. A legendary Texas chicken over here. We love Texas chicken. Hello, and chow. <laughs> Cannot beat Texas chicken here, man. That shit is straight busting. That's my favorite chicken. It goes Texas chicken, Papa Yes, and KFC for me. And then Bonchon is also up in the mix. It's a Korean chain of uh, fried chicken. You guys probably had Bonchon. They're worldwide at this point. Really good, delicious product. I think we go down this way. What's going on over here? Yeah, yeah, we go down here. There's something crazy going on over here. A bunch of people are gathered. Let's see what's happening. Hopefully somebody didn't get hurt. It tends to be loud. Like when I saw that guy die uh, around Boy Ding. The guy that had the heart attack on his uh, scooter. That was pretty crazy. Let's try to get across it. Hong Kong. Hello. <laughs> I might even get Texas chicken for dinner if we don't get sushi. We'll see what the missus wants. Texas chicken's definitely a a good uh, meal for me as well. I just get the uh, Texas chicken Tex wrap. It's, it's flavored with a nice spicy sauce, and I get a large coleslaw. So get some veg in there as well. And that wrap is huge. It completely... Are these kids coming out of school? What the hell is this? This has got to be for kids. Yeah, it's for kids. This must be a school. Only thing I can think of. It's a big crowd though, man. I don't know what this is for. You got me, maybe you went home now. Kind of looks like a school. Oh no, people are going in. Maybe vaccine? I have no idea. That's a big ass queue though. Whoa. This guy's texting on his phone. I'm just walking in the middle of the street. <laughs> Literally. She had big eyes. Oh, shout out to the Singapore crew if you guys are watching. I think a couple of you guys go back home soon. And thanks for, for taking care of the drinks. I know I had to dip, but I got to be home, man. I got a wife. You want her to kill me? <laughs> so we're still in, in District 3. I think we'll be able to start doubling back now. Yeah, we're gonna double back. 
we already got 20 minutes. We'll do another 10. And then I'm gonna shoot a, uh, what applications do you need on your phone for, for Vietnam when you're here traveling? Which I didn't think I could make a video out of, but then when I really thought about it, there's actually a lot of really useful ones. So we're gonna make a video. Someone in the Discord asked for that, so give the people what they want. If you make a request on something, I'll do it. Let me know in the comment section what kind of content you want to see. And if you want me to go walk a specific area, and I'll go do it. I don't know what this is for, man. Maybe Winnie will know. It looks like vaccine. This looks like vaccine style things. But I don't know yet. They're taking their bikes in and everything. Kind of interesting. It's pretty hot out today. It's not that bad. It's not. We're not at the really humid weather yet. I'm starting to get a sweat. I still have to run today since I had to go to the dentist for three and a half hours. Implants are not fun, man. Brush your teeth. Go to the dentist every six months. I shouldn't have skipped the dentist for a few years. Getting a cavity filled is super easy here too. Like teeth cleaning and. and Four cavities was like, I don't know, 100K, 200K, eight bucks. So it's definitely, I would do my dental stuff here. Implants, you need a large space of time. So if you're not gonna be here for more than, I think you could get them all done total in 90 days, right around there. You'll need at least 90 days. You know, they first they drill the holes and they stick the things in, and then it's all got to heal, and it takes a long time. Hello. <laughs> then it takes a long time for it to heal. So then it heals, and they check it again with x-rays and put a, a different metal thing in. Then you come in, and then you take a mold, and then the mold, and you go back in for the fitting. And that took the longest, the fitting. You can get a toilet. Get your toilets. Come on, get your toilets, everybody. This is a cool little spot, man. Just skip Sumo Barbecue. I'll do the K-Pub thing soon, because I, I just want to know if it's good. But usually all the brands involved with Sumo aren't that good. There's one that we really don't like, another barbecue that they have. The one's really good and the one's really shitty. Like, they have a premium one. King, I think it's King. They have a premium one, which is really good. And then their regular cheap one is shit. You get what you pay for, I mean. It's... Most of the cheap ones, Kogogi's okay. You know, that's the one I ate at first, because that's where my Korean friend took me. And I don't think he just knew there was other ones. And he never really left the Boy Vang area. So that Kogogi's gone now though. But Kogogi's okay. There's just so many better options. Meat and meat so much better. Why choose uh, Kogogi? Yeah, this ain't bad. I mean, for real though, you can eat at Haile Lao for close to the same price, like 600K for two people. This I have not tried, but I'm curious to, but I'm gonna maybe kind of guess that they use the same meat as Sumo and King and all those places. If I was a betting man. I shot a lot of uh, videos. We're starting to uh, pile them back up again. So I'll be doing a lot of editing today. I'm gonna go for a run first thing when I get home. And then I'm gonna do a bunch of editing. Then I'm gonna do uploading. And then I'm gonna eat some sushi, I think, or some uh, Texas chicken. I do have a Texas chicken video. The people have spoken, they wanna see it. So I will post it. It was when I was uh, still pretty fat. So if, if, if you're gonna be shocked why I look different in size, that's why. We have lots of videos that are four to six months old now. Like when we came out of the lockdown, I was not taking anything for granted. And I just filmed, you know, sometimes 10 videos a day. Literally, I get up and the wife went to work. 
I'd go and run, I'd go and swim, I'd go to the gym, and then I'd go out and just film. And boy, did I have lots of ideas for content because I was forced to stay inside for a couple months. Look how good she is at cleaning that. See, that's what you want to see. Very clean, she's cleaning the orange juice machine, ready for the next day. <laughs> that's the lady I would get orange juice from. That's gonna be good orange juice. She got big eyes too. Extremely easy to meet women here. You do not need an application. It is just really easy to meet a girl. Take yourself out of that whole needing the app mindset and just meet them in IRL. I'm telling you, it's the way to go. If you're decent enough looking, you can just go and sit down in Boy Vain and somebody will romp up to you and start talking to you. A group of girls will sit by you, they'll look at you and they'll, they'll uh, giggle. And there you go. That's your in, man. I'm, I'm curious to check this place out. It looks pretty high end. So it's Hong Kong hot pot. I don't like any of those broths. I like one broth. That's why I like Heidi Lao. They have a, a true bone broth that comes with a huge chunk of meat in it, with a huge bone in it, and the marrow's coming out. And it gets better as it cooks, as you dip more meat into it. Heidi Lao comes and skims the fat off the top. They really take care of you there. Customer service is amazing. And then they have like a little bar, like this little uh, dressing bar where you can make any kind of dipping sauce. So I make like five different sauces so you can have like a different taste every time. It's lots of variety. Yeah, that's exactly what I get. This is pretty much what me and Winnell have tonight. Looks like some Toro. Some salmon, some yellowfish. Yeah, this is pretty much what I get every time. The place is actually full for 4 p.m. I, I reckon we're gonna have sushi because that's what I really want today. And I always feel good. Like everything about sushi is, is good for you, man. I'm not quite on that raw meat meat thing. I do. I will eat wagyu raw, but uh, yeah, I'm hesitant to try any raw meat here that isn't uh, wagyu. You can get the good stuff here too. You can get like A5 and shit. It costs the same as it does worldwide though. So One time we did the, the high-end wagyu at Gusugi. It was fantastic. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And that still, you know, still only costs like 1. 1.5 million. So much better than just getting one steak for like 1 million at a high-end steak place. You cannot beat Gushugi's quality in meat, especially if you want Wagyu. Like, it's a tie between Gushugi and Boringa is the best Korean barbecue. Gushugi is a chain too, which blows my mind, like a huge chain. And they're a fusion between um, Japanese and Korean food. So it's a Japanese uh, barbecue, but they infuse a bunch of Korean stuff in it. I found that to be particularly interesting. I keep walking down. There's my bank, VIB Bank. Uh, I do recommend VIB Bank. I shot a video on the banking system yesterday. That'll come out in the next few days. I'm really glad that everybody likes the walking vlogs. So much positive comments on that. Granted, it's not the highest viewed video or anything. We're averaging about 4,000 views now, which is way up. We used to average 2,000, 2,500, so I'm really happy with that. But I'm going to continue to put out content that doesn't get as much views as other things because I like doing them. Like, as you know, if you didn't know, a walking vlog is my favorite style of video. I love riffing, and I like riffing off the top of my head. And you get 